then that that a husband can rape his wife. Yeah, I believe that a husband can rape. It. And now for our featured presentation. Hi everyone, welcome to another Conversation with the Lees. Conversation with the Lees. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, just really watching the video. Day and night. Hope you're having a fantastic one. Um, again, we are happy and always delighted. Um, to take this opportunity to come and just have a conversation with you guys and we are so grateful for your support we are so grateful that you watch the videos and for those who comment we are so grateful for your comments and we look forward to those who don't come in to come in right we are family man so share your views share your thoughts um, we want to hear from you um, again welcome to all our new subscribers um, though we, we, we probably have a few persons who are newer than some welcome to all of you and we say to you feel free to you know share your thoughts if you have any any topics you want us to, to look at and address we will do so all right so you see the title we're going to be discussing can your spouse say no and we're talking about mm -hmm. sex can your spouse say no all right now for well generally speaking we all know that god is the one who instituted marriage right he's the, he's the first one who is the one who um did the first wedding ceremony as so you know as some preachers would say um because when he created adam he created eve and he presented eve to adam and adam said yes this is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone i shall call her woman yes and so we know that God loves and he, he sees marriage as the foundation for humanity. Yes, it is a man and a woman coming together and then the earth or the world is expanded. More, more people populate the world. All right. So we're going to look at that. So based on that premise, we're going to take it from what the scripture has to say. I'm going to read what the scripture says about it. All right. Um, and we know it's not just Christians alone um, get married and whatever but we we believe that if you're going to get married um, and even from a scriptural standpoint you'll do your best to do according to the scriptures so let's see hear what the scriptures are saying all right so we're taking it from first Corinthians chapter 7 um, I think from verse 1 to 5 we might go to verse 6 but let's let's see what it says now concerning the things whereof he, he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. This is Paul writing now. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due ben benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The, the wife has not power over, over her own body, but the husband. And likewise also, the husband has not power over his own body, but the wife. So here it says in verse 5, Defraud, not, defraud ye not one another, one, one the other, sorry, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves the to fasting and prayer and come again come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency but I speak this by permission and not of command um, 
For what? For I would that. Okay, no. I'll stop at verse, verse, verse 5. Right. So, the scripture tells us um, from, from, the, from, the, from the first verse, the purpose for which um, we should get married. Yes? Um, to avoid fornication. But it's not only that. Because you understand that marriage, you don't get married just because you don't, you don't want to be sitting um, or sitting in the terms of fornicating. Right? You get married, you get married to because you want to build a family, you want to um, share your life with somebody, you want to, you know, carry new beings into the world, you know, children and so forth, and basically have a have a, have a grand time on your journey. Um, so yeah. Paul wake up says in the scriptures, so nevertheless to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have their own husband. Right? Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. So right away we see, we are partly saying, whatever I must do to the wife, the wife must reciprocated. Must be reciprocated. Must do back to me, right? Um, it also says in verse, um, is it verse four? The wife has not power over her own body but the husband and likewise also the husband has not power over his own body but the wife the bible says of course and they are going to teach and um, <laughs> preach and teach tonight but yeah the bible says the wife has not power over her own body but the husband and likewise also the husband has not power over his own body but the wife so what does this mean to you so basically, it simply means that all of you mm -hmm. belongs to me, mm -hmm. and all of me belongs to you. So whenever I want it, need it, feel for it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. You should not say no without a real reason. And the re verse. That is true. And the real reason the scripture says is that the fraud, verse five um, of our First Corinthians chapter seven, says. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for for a time. So if if Michelle feel to be with me, right, I can just tell her say why well, I'm not with her. You understand? Um, but in say for example, boy, me decide to me up on ten day fast. I she don't know. But me just decide that, yes? I can't do that. And vice versa, you can eat. Why? I can you know, but it has to be with consent. Yes, it has to be with consent. So then the Bible said, don't do fraud. Don't, don't punish one another. Don't lock off from one another. Except it be with consent. Right? And it says that and um, that you may give, your, give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come, and come together again that Satan you not for your incontinency all right so the truth is whenever she wants to be with me I have to comply but the problem comes in now is what if she don't want to can she say no I mean I think with um, what would you say now with a, with a valid reason mm -hmm. valid reason I think the spouse can say no and then it should not be for a malicious reason mm -hmm. but I mean for a valid reason for instance the person is not feeling well mm -hmm. you know for instance the person may just you know mentally not the, not, may check out mm -hmm. mentally and then it's leave up to the spouse the spouse to understand what the in the, the, the next part is going through. Yeah, but what if I but what if what if you want 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 it and I just you just no you just no in it. You can you can just, do just go ahead and still take it. Yeah. If you go ahead and take it. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. But if it's something wherein you don't into it, you don't have the energy to participate. Mm. Then it leave up to the other spouse now to drive and carry on. 
you understand if that's what he or she can you know all right so what if excited. so what if me not in the frame of mind me not want none at all me just not in it but you feel you feel like you, you if want it's it. a thing if it's for real valid reason and just the mere fact that me not feel like mm-hmm. it can't i don't believe it should be me not feel like it have to be wearing it is really if it's a mental issue wearing because you're not only sick physically people can feel sick mentally mm-hmm. and then it leave up to the spouse to have compassionate and to understand what his or her significant other is going mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. then you know you, you you're going to empathize and hold your corner because it is not just ordinary yeah so. but then yeah but then when the bible said your body don't belong to you and my body don't belong to me that sounds like you have absolute absolute authority over yes, each other body i believe that both bodies have absolute control so if you want them you know what you can take it yes i can take it i'm not saying but if it's a thing wherein you know i'm going to be selfish about it now and mm-hmm. that's when love comes into play because if the other person is down you understand you should also feel for that person because the, the bible says if the head is sick the hand feels it and the foot feels it and mm-hmm. all of those things mm-hmm. so you're one body so if you are sick i should be feeling sick mm-hmm. and you know and, and be where you are and understand what you're going through however if it's just a thing where one party feel like man you're too greedy or or, you know, or we have a disagreement there. or there's a we disagreement have, so we have a disagreement and you want to and honestly as, as i think we have said in our vlog so you, have a, you have something unsettled yes right and i don't want to to, to be a part of that yeah. um i mean you if, just go if and do you, you don't want to. of course if you don't want to be a part of it and i have the drive but, but i have all the energy mm-hmm. you understand to take over and to and, drive and, and, and she to having all the energy places. to be very good this is be so nice let's let us it. not stream right. Ooh. right so and I believe that is full speed ahead and I can lay it on thick and you know create my universe. Mm. Go all right, yeah. All right. So ahead. so it's so you're saying then I can't say no to you? In I the sense go that, that far. you 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 can't say the, no if you just want me, to say no. I mean no uh, in the you know what you're gonna talk. Right. There's no such thing as saying no. If you just not in the mood, cause you know feel like it, and you, you know your feelings or whatever you that no make no that no check you. It's not seen if me decide say me I go take it. If me have a hold and take it, and my wife is a witch man. I go go street, go talk that their wife hold them and take it. <laughs> but do you know? Oh my God. All right, do you know that right now in Jamaica they are trying to pass a law yeah. to say that a man can rape his wife. You know, because I I understand I think the law, that mm, law. You understand it? it? To some extent, I do because I believe that you have people who are un- spouses who are unconscionable. They are unconscionable, and some of them may just also get a kick out of hold on and take it in a not so nice way. But do we, do because you, all in the name of it, she is my wife. Or, you understand mm-hmm. and those sort of things. Do we find? I think I. Right. I think we can call it as it is. Yeah. We find a lot of we, we find an abuse. To be honest, with you, the abuse comes even yeah. even in even in Christian marriages. Are yeah Christian, and I said this because for the persons who really actually follow in Christ, you're not going to be abused yeah. in your spouse. You have situation, you have disagreement, but it will never get into an abusive situation, situation. because. Christ is the head of your life, and if you're following Christ, you will not be abused. You're not going to be in a find yourself and you will being an abuser. Term, understand the term of being one. But I think the law that they're trying to implement comes in because a lot of women have brought to this to, to the police where their their husband, for whatever reason, violence. starts to abuse them, starts to especially taking you know. Taking sex from them, from them, even if they don't want to, and basically forcefully taking it. And do you, you understand? And maybe, and then, and then maybe from a scripture standpoint, they're gonna say, "Boy, 
how can it be forced when she when she is not she don't have con exactly. she don't have control of her body and him don't have control. And but yes. sorry, but I think the force is about abusive. Abusive, yeah, forcefulness. And again, we have to look at it, you know, because the truth is with a lot of person like an article article that we were going through the other day in one of our lives, wherein some persons get off even within quote unquote Christian realm. Um, having sex in a form of a way that the very act in which they go about it, the ways and the tools that they use can come off as being um, abusive to some persons when there wasn't communication or, you know, agreement upon the terms in which it wants to be carried out, mm-hmm. maybe with different objects, maybe, you know, who knows? Because mm-hmm. we know... We, we know that they're there, mm-hmm. right? According to nowadays this preference. So you may find that some some spouses, and remember that our triple was saying also, the woman was the abuser in the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was the one putting on force and being physical in um, hurtful ways mm-hmm. during sex time, play time. And the man said no. The man, the man couldn't enjoy it. He, mm-hmm. he has to say no, regardless that it was his wife, and he's a man. So, in those situations when both party um, are not in agreement as to what is being done and how it is being carried out, you understand? Then I can agree with the law. You understand? I can agree with the law because if somebody is gonna come to you, no matter but, but, but does and slap you up and yeah, I mean, I think once it's once it's once it is it, it goes abuse. into abusive. Yeah. It's no I don't think, love. Maybe. And here, I, and here, I will say this: the the, the, the issue comes up now. For example, um, Ephesians five, verse twenty-two says, "Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord." For the husband is the head of the of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be, be to their own husbands in everything. everything. Right? So submission is taught in in, 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 in church, um, in Christian in Christendom. That the wife should submit herself to her husband in all things. All right. So sometimes submission sounds like you're under bondage. Mm-hmm, right. But let's read on. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to the to himself a glorious church not having spot nor wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his own, loveth his wife, loveth himself. So, here is the, the, the responsibility or the, the, um, the caveat as it relates to when you are endowed with power, or you are okay. given power, right? There's, there's, there, there is. Not, I wouldn't say there's a catch to it, but there's a responsibility that comes with it. So, the responsibility that we have as husbands, we must love our, our, our wives, and we must do what? We must take care of them. We must nourish them. We must cherish them because if we love our wives, we are loving our own bodies. Why? Because the wife body is ours, and the our body is the wife. So if we love our wives, we are loving our bodies. We're loving and yourself. And we're going to take care of it. Basically, you're going to take care of it. And the wife must submit to us. But the wife submitted to us, or your, your, your wife submitting to you, is because you are submitted to God. Let the church say amen. Amen. And it's not a sign As of the weakness. Man. Yeah. You understand? You're submitted to God as, a, as the man. So once you are submitted to God, God is Jesus Christ is the head of your life as a man, and your wife is submitted to you because you are the head of your wife, then all is well. Right? But a lot of times we, especially us as men, sometimes we take the dominant hand and say, yes, you know, 
to and be I am the head and we will take and not take into consideration the awesome response that we also have to love and cherish and nourish our wives. Right? Let me know come over for before before we get to the, the, the meat of the matter. For we are members of of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall join and shall be joined unto his wife, and they two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular love so love his wife, even has himself. And the wife see that he reverence her, see that she reverence her husband. Yes? Yeah. So Yes, you should not, and in reality, you cannot say no to your spouse. However, we, we, this, each other has to consider each, each other. other, right? And if you love your body, you'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. You said, you said, the people say, her body is yours, and your body is hers. So if she love her fear body, she's gonna take care of it. And if me love my body, I'm gonna take care of it. Yeah. Yes? And, and, and once that is that. happening, both parties will be alright. Everybody will be alright. And that's true mm-hmm. because even, you know, in many instances, we're not going around the fact that we know that there are women who abuse the authority, you understand, of having um their cherry for their husband. We're not going around that. They use it in many ways. Yes, as, they, they, they as a power. The power, the power, the power <laughs> as it we taught in, in, um, in, a, in, a, in a seminar. Mm-hmm. Bless you, brother and sister McLaren. Mm-hmm. Good night. If you're watching, yes. You know, women do use it as a tool against and to get whatever they want from their spouse. So most are some women. You understand? And, and it is wrong. It is. It is wrong because basically it's naturally theirs. Mm-hmm. It is theirs according to the Bible. And whether or not you are a, you are a child of God, a Christian, yes or no, once you marry, you understand. You come under the principle of what God says marriage is and mm-hmm. supposed to be. So you are still in the wrong if you are withholding it. It and a lot of ladies withhold it to get money. A lot of ladies withhold it. You understand as a power so they have power over their spouse because we all know that that is one thing in life how God ordains it that the men cannot do without they just can't do without and imagine you know if you're a man of God and you're living according to the principle of the Bible there's nowhere else to go and get it let the church say amen amen yeah, we can't go we understand. elsewhere. We can't elsewhere. go elsewhere. Yeah. Like we have a video, we spoke about that already. The different you, shops. You can that. check it out. Right, you can check it out. But what we're focusing on tonight is that should you withhold it? Is it right to say no? I use it as a position. No. Because it belongs to the, the your spouse. There's no getting around it. And this, this is one of the main things I think people should look into when they're coming together to get married. Have these open discussions. Yeah, you understand? And whether you're not a follower of Christ, the the good book is there. You can still, read still it. Can be guided. Understand what some of these things are because whether or not you know it, yes or no, you're falling under the principle of the word of God once you decide to get married. Yeah. It doesn't once matter you if follow, you're once you follow to what the principle says. The, 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 the blessings are, are guidelines mm-hmm. are you know, end results that will follow. That comes with it. Yeah. And of course, you, we know that Christian struggles within their marriage, everybody struggles. And most of the time, that happens because we do not want. We're not following the, 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 the steps. principles <laughs> you know, of, of Christ, what the Christ man, said marriage should the be. Wife and and relationship and the whole should be. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a blessed, the Lord has blessed us with a, a, a blessed. I don't want to say fruit because I don't want no, to man, go back. It's to, it's, it's a it's it's a we're blessed, doing YouTube so we can be vulgar. It's a blessed it. space that yeah, we yeah. can it both can enjoy and just and, and, and be free and and, and 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 participate in. Now, as we said though, we understand and the scripture is, is, is self-explanatory. 
your, her body's mine and my body's hers. The thing about it is that, as as, as Ephesians says in verse um, Ephesians five verse twenty three, for no man ever yet hated his it is one flesh. That's so the true. ownerships come. The ownership is is yours, yes, but you will not want to destroy your flesh. Your flesh. And this is your flesh. Yeah. And Can this you is imagine as a flesh. human being that yes, you get a prick with a pin or a marker or something with fur? You know, you mm, and you tend to you immediately turn to yourself and try to soothe and soothe what that pain means. Mm-hmm. So it shouldn't be difficult if your significant other, yes, may not be feeling right on the inside. You may not see it. You, you, you may not see it physically, mm-hmm. but the individual is going through something. So if you are one flesh, you understand just the mere fact that he or she is not their selves, you should take on that concern. Mm-hmm. And in taking on that concern and that care towards that individual, when you may hear no other person is not at their best, it should somewhat deter your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, from and the try blood. to find out what's yeah. happening and try to And try fix to find it. out that blood that runs down there is because your mind and your thoughts and everything, your energy is there. So if you can shift that to think about the other person, which is um, like your own self, as the Bible says, that can wait a little. Yeah. It's not a death sentence, it's not for life. It can wait a little. So if we talk being selfish and all about us and, and live according to the principle, of the word, then there will be no problem. And, there will be no problem. And just to say, you know, as, as we wrap it up, um, there's no male or female who, f- who for example, who, for, on the wife's side, that the, the, that the scripture tells us, tells us as a husband, we must love our wives. There's no woman who feels a love and appreciation that do, that will not submit. That's true. And when and when we as men can do the right thing by them in um, in, in loving them, as as we were taught again, you will get every everything. Yeah, you get everything. the best juice out of us, every good substance that yeah, lies everything. in us. All right, it so, pour and come right back. So the truth is, um, and I'm just repeating myself uh, no, but. Our body belong our bodies belong to each other and we must take care of each other. Yeah. Right? And say no is 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 not something we should just do lightly. Yeah. If we're gonna say no, it must be up for a serious cause. And if it is for a serious cause, then as your as as your, your spouse should be able to listen, take into consideration and know that okay, I'm not going to further deteriorate how my spouse is okay. feeling. And I'm gonna for the theater, mentally or emotionally, I'll wait. I'll, I'll I'll nurse her back to health, and then have my way. Yes, but it don't make sense. She's not well, or he's not well, and you want to force it. It's just same way. No, love has got to be the motive for all this. And there's some somebody who's right? there's some persons who are so they're kinky enough to like dead flesh. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. All right, we're going with this. That's no. so. It's so awful, but it's um, reality. But yeah, we they love. like when something is done. Anyway, let us say it. Yes, please. But it's just so, life still. So we so love has got to be the thing that motivates us when our spouse spouse is not at is at her best. Love, right? So if if it's a no, why no? And he or this what? And I'm sure. Tr- and I believe honestly. That if we if we understand what is behind it all, we will just say, alright, no problem, we'll work it all together. Yes? So all in all, we're saying we follow what we just follow what the scripture says and allow love to dictate our action when our spouse says no. Alright? So we hope it's you got something. Um we we want to touch every topic. Um so I don't so at the end of it all, would you say then, then that that a husband can rape his wife? Yeah, I believe that a husband can rape, rape against his wife. her will. Against her will. But, but then it should not reach there. But I believe so. I believe so because because, because love has basically gone out of the thing. Then. Gone right, and and right. ego yeah. ego takes over. And there's there are a well, lot of men that the only thing they hold in the Bible is that 
The Bible says mine. So put it this way. When it comes to that, the Bible says mine. They don't hope all the other things as we've been saying. Mm. So put it this way. If we go by God's law, we're good. We both will be fine. If we don't go by God's law, then the law, the law, the law of the land will take care of you. Alright? So you can choose. So until next live, until next video upload, we're saying God bless. See you on the other side.